Hello and welcome to another IOC Search Pro tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we are going to cover how to use the compact search layout mode. Uh, this layout mode was designed uh, for websites with not too much space left so you can implement the search uh, to the sidebars or somewhere else uh, where you don't want to display the whole search bar instead just a small icon of it. So. First of all, navigate to the Layout Options Compact Box Layout panel. Uh, this is all we need. Uh, by default, uh, of course, this is turned off. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going. I'm not going to use the, start, the sidebar, but I put already put the search short code into the Hello World default post uh, for better demonstration purposes. Okay, so by default the search bar looks like this. Um, the compact mode is disabled. Let's uh, enable it with the default settings and let's refresh the front end. As you can see, the, uh, the search bar disappeared and when I click on it, it opens and when I click on it again, it closes. So this is basically what the compact mode is all about. Okay, so let's go through all of the options we can find uh, uh, here. Uh, I may as well close this panel, we are not going to use it anymore. Uh, okay, so close on magnifier click. Uh, well, this option uh, is what you can see here. If I click on the magnifier, it automatically closes. Close on document click, well, and this is a much more interesting one. Let's check out what it does. So as you might tell, the difference is that when I click on the document anywhere else as the search box, it automatically closes. So there's that. I'm going to turn it off now because I usually sometimes misclick and it just closes the box. So the compact layout final width, uh, let's skip this option for now because it depends on, on other options. Uh, and so as the display background overlay because it only works if the position is set to fixed below in this option. Uh, once we get here we will jump back to these two. Compact layout alignment. Um, well if if it's if the compact search for position is set to static uh, which is by the default uh, then you can uh, change the floating of the element. By default it follows the, the predefined float uh, of the document which is usually the uh, left side. But of course if you're using the static position you can just change it to the right side. There we go. Position changed. Okay, I'm going to change back to non-floating. There's also a footnote here by default. The search of floats with the theme default none. You can change that here. So this one is useful when using the static um, position, but of course it also works in the other ones as well. Okay, so compact search uh, box position. Okay, so here's a footnote, let it read. Uh, in absolute position, the search cannot affect its parent element height as absolute position elements are removed from the flow thus ignored by the elements. So it means the static element is placed basically as a normal element into an HTML page like here. So it has a it has a a size in this document space. But if I change that so let's change it to the fixed. Let's see, you will see what I mean. If I change that to the fixed, it's removed from the document flow and it's immediately attached to the sidebar of the document. And if I just click open, this will float all the way to the right left side. As you can see, because let's jump back to this option, come back layout final with 100%. Now, now the parent element is the document itself which where 100% is the full width of the document. So in this case using a different value for example 200 pixels is much more convenient. 
like so. See? It looks much nicer now. Okay. And yes, uh, the background overlay is also working in this position. So, now if I open up search, see? There's this white overlay displaying. It's, it's, it's a nice way to bring the search up front. Let me turn it off and let's check what the absolute position is. So uh, the main difference between the static and the fixed position is that that in fixed position the, the search bar will be positioned uh, to a certain given position uh, relative to the main document. As you can see, the position values here are 20% top, bottom is auto, right is 0 pixels, so left and uh, left is auto. So it's going to be placed 0 pixels from the very right side and 20% of the top side of the document, which is happening right now. Let's change that to absolute and see what happens. Well, the search bar is almost in the same place uh, as it was before when, the, when we used the static position, but the difference is uh, it's, it's uh, just as well removed from the document flow uh, like in the fixed position. Uh, absolute and the fixed positions are almost identical, uh, but the main difference is that the fixed position uh, always uses uh, the document as the parent element, so there's the the relative. It's it's placed relatively, always placed relatively to the parent, the very much parent element, which is uh, the body element in this case. Um, the absolute position, however, is is a very, it's a bit different because it will place itself relatively to the first relative parent element on the page which I already highlighted in my in my console where it's the article element see how, how it fits on the right side and 20% from the top and then if you check the check the position of this article element it's set to relative and because it's set to relative the absolute position search will uh, just attach to it if I would remove this relative element, it will it will move to the next relative, which I believe must be must be the content, I guess, or is it or is it this this one? The side inner element is the next relative element, and if I move it, it will attach to the body. So this is the main difference between fixed and absolute positions. Well, you can tamper with the position values, values of, as well, so let's say you want to move it to the left side instead of the right side, so in this case I would uh, change the right to auto and left to zero pixels. And there it is, it's moved to the other side. Let's not forget, it's still an absolute position element, so it's, the it's moved uh, attached to its next relative parent, which is the article. If I change that to fixed, then however, this is going to appear on the left side of the, of the document. Lastly, uh, there's the Z index option, which basically tells uh, the vertical position uh, of the elements which are within the same uh, parent and set to absolute or fixed. Uh, for example, let me set the search bar into an absolute position. Let's remember it has a Z index value of 1000. Okay, okay, one more, let me 
change the right left to auto so it's positioned on the right side and what if I was to change this paragraph to a position absolute and it's top to zero or just just be just below the search bar well the z-index tells that the search by default the z-index I believe it's set to zero and because this paragraph let's check that z-index can we can we check computed values z-index is set to auto which I believe uh, refers to zero so so this uh, paragraph has a zero z index and the search bar has a thousand so it's above this paragraph which is also absolutely positioned now but what if I was to change that to thousand one see see that it's immediately immediate the position of all the search bar so in case you have uh, another element uh, in the same container with uh, a different z index and you want to place it above below the search bar or the search icon in this case you can adjust the z index here and you don't have to add extra custom css or anything like that so it's a, it's a bit more convenient way. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to explain uh, as detailed as possible all of these options and, and I didn't want to go in into too much detail on what uh, floating is, what uh, positioning is in terms of uh, web development and, uh, and uh, I probably I wasn't uh, really exactly uh, correct or exactly right so I if, if you want to learn more please go ahead and uh, Google positioning Google alignment and Google all these terms what they mean what they exactly are uh, these are just my own words to try to explain some of the features of this plugin I really hope you have a nice day and see you in the next video.